Innovation for me is collectively people gathering around and addressing a problem. Everyone putting forward a central idea to design and then critiquing it, you know. You can pretend your design is the best in the world, but until you get other parties, diverse opinions added or subtracted to it, that's when innovation really blooms. Virtual reality can deliver experiential learning and development like no other technology we've ever built. The speed of technology exceeds the ability to train staff and this leads to a skills gap. Training has to be continuously modified um, and updated to close this gap and this is expensive and it takes time. Mercer's Technologies through Avatar Academy are standardising our software development processes. This means our customers will get their virtual reality training faster and more efficiently. Our software platform is looking to simplify how we create immersive content. So we're looking to create a drag and drop system where our developers can create a training course in a fraction of what it would have taken previously. Developers can focus on good user experiences so that they're not get caught up in time consuming repetitive tasks. So what we aspire to do for the immersive industry is what Henry Ford did for the automotive industry. And this will then lead to a shorter teaching learning cycle, accelerating the closure of this skills gap. Customers want something that is scalable, deployable and they can train offline with. We've created a user management system where trainers can take control of the virtual training. They also love the insights and the ability that to look behind the actual training and see individual progress across the board. Mercer's Technology won the New Frontiers category with the Irish Times Innovation Awards and we also won Best Learning and Development with the Irish Manufacturing Research. Manufacturing and Supply Chain Awards. Effectively, we're looking to develop the commercial side of the platform as well as adding new features, the likes of blockchain and artificial intelligence. It will allow us to really, really get in and explore the data aspect of it. All in all, the framework that exists is, is sound structurally and the model is good.